Now we know the different techniques to style your React component. In this fourth technique, we are going to use the utility first CSS styling. When using utility first CSS strategy with something like Bootstrap, you don't need to define your CSS anymore. Bootstrap gives you all the pre-configuration CSS that you can use right away in your React class names. Let me show you how to use Bootstrap in your React application. Bootstrap framework used to style the front end. We're going to use the Bootstrap to style the React component. So let me show you the three different ways you can use Bootstrap in your React application. Using the first way, we can use the Bootstrap CDN. Using second way, we're going to use Bootstrap as a dependency. And using third way, we are going to install a React Bootstrap package. So let's start with the first one, using Bootstrap CDN. So let me first open my browser and open a new tab and search here Bootstrap. I'm going to click on this getbootstrap.com, this first website, and click on this get started. You can notice you have here a CDN, the CSS CDN. Just copy it and open the index.html file. You can notice here you have this file in your public folder. Just open it. And in the header section of this file, at the top, just out of this link tag, you need to just paste that CDN. Just like this. Save this file back to your component. Let me get it off this styling and create here a simple button with some classes. So I'm going to say here bootstrap and specify some classes to it. The predefined classes of bootstrap. You don't need to create any styling to style this button. Instead, you can use the predefined styling of bootstrap. So here I'm going to simply say btn, btn primary. So I'm going to use the bootstrap classes here to style this button. Let me save this file back to my react application and as you can see i'm going to have the primary styling to this button if i change this primary to secondary i'm going to have that styling to this button in bootstrap you have different classes to style your component you can find more about these classes on this website now this is the first way you can style your react component the second way to style your bootstrap is using bootstrap dependency so what you need to do is you just need to first install the bootstrap as a dependency in your application so just open a new terminal and here you need to install the bootstrap in your react application here i'm going to say npm i for install and then i'm going to say here bootstrap when i press enter this will just install bootstrap in this react application now once i have my bootstrap in this application let me just remove this link tag from this index because i'm not using the cdn method now let me just remove it close this index file open my style component and now you need to import this bootstrap in this application so you need to say here import in the single code i'm going to say bootstrap then i'm going to specify text folder inside it i have css and inside this css i have bootstrap.mean.css file you can find this directory inside this node modules folder right here so once you import your bootstrap file in this component let me just use it so here i'm going to create a simple division tag and inside it, I'm going to simply say a simple primary alert check it out. And to this div, I'm going to specify some class name. So I'm going to specify here alert and alert primary. When I save the changes, oops, I think I misspelled something. I just misspelled this T here. Let me specify that. Save this file. When I reload the browser, as you can see, I'm going to have my alert division tag. So this is the second way you can use Bootstrap in your React application. Now let me show you the third technique you can use the bootstrap in the react application in the third way we add bootstrap to the react app using a package that has been rebuilt bootstrap components design to work as a react component here we have two different packages to style the react application using react bootstrap and react strap so let's start with the first one let me show you how to use the react bootstrap package so i'm going to just back to my project and i'm going to open my terminal and i'm going to install a new package called react bootstrap so i'm going to say here npm i for install and i'm going to simply say react bootstrap i'm going to install this package in my react application if you want to know more about this package just open a new tab in your browser and search for react bootstrap and here you can notice you have here react bootstrap module here you can find more about this package so what you need to do is you just need to first install this react bootstrap package and then use different components here there are two ways you can import the component in your react application with this syntax or with this syntax 
Using the second syntax, you can import multiple components at the same time inside this curly braces. If you want to just style a single button in your component, use the first syntax. And in the second syntax, you can import multiple components inside this curly braces with the help of commas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this and specify that here, just like this. And just for that, make sure you copy this and paste it at the top right here because this module use the bootstrap to style a component. So I'm going to just import this inside a main component or you can say inside a parent component and specify this react bootstrap in the child component. I'm going to get rid of this division tag and I'm going to simply add here a button. I'm going to just import button here from this react bootstrap. So I'm going to simply say here button and specify text to it react bootstrap. And to style this button, you don't need to use class name because this library use variant property to style this component. So I'm going to say here variant is equal to and in the double quote, I'm going to simply specify primary. So I'm going to just specify primary style to this button. Let me save this file and reload it. As you can see, I'm going to have primary style to this button. So using this variant property, you can specify different styling to this button. If you want to specify secondary, then you can just simply say here secondary and you will have that styling to this button. Make sure you first import the bootstrap in the main component and then use this react bootstrap. Now just of that, we can use the react strap as well to style the react component. React strap is also a library to style the react component. Let me show you how to use it. Let me first open a new tab and search for here react strap. And from this website, you can find more about react strap library. So to use this library to style your react component, you need to first install this library in your react application as you know you have react and react dom already installed so you don't need to install both these packages again you just need to install this react strap library so i'm going to just open a new terminal and clear the screen and here i'm going to say npm i for install and say here react strap let me just enter here to install this package in this react application so once you have this package installed in your react application let me just close it and what you need to do is you just have to leave this import statement as it is because this package also use a bootstrap to style a component. So I'm going to leave this as it is and inside this file, I'm going to import react strap. So I'm going to just simply get rid of this react bootstrap and say here react strap. And just for that to style this button, this library use color property. So instead of variant, you just need to say here color. And if I just specify here danger, the class name of the button, when I save the changes, as you can notice, I'm going to have the danger color to this button. So using this color property, you can change and specify different styling to your button. So these are the different techniques you can use to style your React component. But make sure whenever you use the external library, you need to import the bootstrap in your parent component. You are not limited to only use buttons and alert statement in your React application. You can use different components. That's upon you. You can find more about this library on this reactstrap.github.io website. I hope you understand different ways to style your React component. I will explain the inline styling with a simple example in a new topic.